Hi everyone, it's Bonnie here. I hope you're all doing well. I have a collective haul to share with you. Uh, so I've had these items uh, waiting to be filmed, uh, but the weather has been so nice here in Southern Ontario. I've been trying to spend a lot of my spare time outside in the sunshine because uh, our winters are so long here. Uh, so anyway, I picked up these tinted watercolor pencils. They're by Stedler and they describe these as um, uh, tinted watercolors uh, with a hint, uh, pencils with a hint of graphite. So I watch a channel called Colored by Maya and she uses the Derwent graphite tint pencils in um, a lot of her colorings. And I love the effect, especially when she is using them uh, on images where there's bricks and, and um, you know buildings and such. And so I was going to invest in a set, but I thought that it would be, uh, I thought that maybe I should just buy open stock if I could and, and get the colors that I would probably use the most, but I haven't been able to find them here. Uh, so I might have to invest in a set of them and buy them maybe off of Amazon in the future. But I was at Michael's and uh, they had uh, these, the, the Stedler, uh, Stedler tinted uh, pencils. And I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give them a try because they were um, you know, reasonably priced and I was able to use a coupon on them as well. And so I used them in Village Charm, my Creative Haven book. This is by Teresa Goodridge. I just love her, uh, her artwork. And so this is not finished, but um, I just wanted to show you, uh, you know, uh, how I use those pencils. So I used them on uh, this uh, section here and it was so easy. And so Maya is right. Um, when you use these graphic pencils, uh, it does speed up the time, you know, because usually when I'm coloring in bricks and, um, you know, tiny details like that, it does take a long time. And so all I did was I just colored the outside and then I activated the pencils with my uh, watercolor brush. And uh, yeah, they, uh, you know, easily blended and I think the effect is really nice. And I just went in with my regular pencils and just shade it a little bit. And I use them down here too, on the ground. I use them in the sky and on the uh, greenery as well. And I think I use them, yeah, I use them here too on the flowers and on the, uh, the vase here. So I really like the effect. I think they are really nice for the price. Um, and I can't wait to get my hands on the graphy tint ones. Uh, this is how they look though. I have actually numbered them. Uh, so, you know, cause I do have the swatches. Here's the swatches here. Sorry, I forgot to show these. And um, they're nice. I've actually dropped these quite a few times and the lead has, uh, hasn't come out. So they're pretty, you know, durable. And uh, they're made in Germany. So I'm happy that I got those. And uh, yeah, so that's it for that. So, and then another purchase inspired by Maya's channel are my Ahuhu metallic marker pens. So I love metallic markers. Oh, sorry for the glare. I use these all the time, like not the Ahuhus, but you know, I have uh, ones from the Dollar Tree and the Dollarama. But the problem is, um, every time I buy them from, um, see if I can kind of prevent that, maybe not, it makes it worse, okay. Uh, every time I try to buy, you know, different ones, different colors, they're always sold out and stuff. So uh, anyway, Maya showed these uh, in a haul video, I believe, a little while ago, and I was looking for them, I couldn't find them, and then one day they just popped up in my uh, Amazon search results, so, uh, I have them in here. I have them in this uh, old makeup uh, bag that I had because they say to lay them flat and uh, they're quite nice. I really like them. And so I got my husband, he actually, um, he swatched them and numbered them for me. So that was nice. I don't like swatching. <laughs> I really don't. Uh, he doesn't mind doing it. So uh, anyway, these are the swatches and I really like them. They have a nice sheen to them. They're opaque and uh, you get lots of colors. So, you know, what's not to like? And they have uh, 
one side is brush tip and the other side is, uh, I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up. And the other side is like a bullet uh, point. There you go. So, I mean, they're reasonably priced too. Did I mention that? So, I, I, I mean, you can't go wrong. So I'm really happy uh, that uh, I was able to find them. So thank you, Maya, for showing those on your channel because uh, that was a great buy. And after I bought those, uh, Amazon showed me, uh, recommended, I guess, the uh, Ohuhu uh, acrylic markers. And I've wanted acrylic markers for a long time. And I had another brand in my cart and I've had them in there for at least a year and a half and they just, they haven't gone down in price. They actually went up. So the Ohuhus were uh, really, they were priced well. And so I thought, you know what, I'm going to search for these on YouTube to see if I can find a video on these. So I searched them uh, and Doodle Robot's channel showed up. And she has this amazing video where she shows swatches of the Ahuhu, these these markers, uh, the Artex uh, acrylic markers, and also the Poshka markers. And she just shows swatches of them. And I was impressed by the Ahuhu ones. So I decided to grab them and to buy them. And I was really happy with them. So. Um, you can go look on Doodle Robot's channel for her video. I'm going to try to link it down below, but if I can't figure out how to link that particular video, I'm going to write down the name of that video in my description box and see if I can just link her channel. And that's for Maya as well. Uh, so, you know, this is them here and they are easily activated. You just have to press down and then the, uh, the acrylic paint just, you know, goes right through. It actually comes with extra little nibs, so that's great. And I couldn't be happier. They're completely opaque, so they're great to cover up mistakes and they would be great for, you know, coloring on all different surfaces. So yeah, I'm really happy about those. So thank you, Doodle, for showing that video. It was very uh, helpful, or for making that video, rather. Okay, so I did buy some more coloring books. Yes, I know, I always say, I don't need any more coloring books. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned that before on one of my hauls. But you know what? It's you, you go to the book outlet site and you see these great prices or you see these books at discount stores. And I mean, it's really hard to pass up. So anyway, my husband was putting in a an order uh, off of the book outlet and we need to spend $45 to get free shipping. So I said, you know what? I'll help you with that. And I did add some books. <laughs> So I picked up a miniature Enchanted Forest. Uh, this is so cute. This will be great for travel, uh, nice and tiny. And now I should have, I'm thinking I should have bought the Millie Murata miniature coloring books as well. They had, I think they had like two of them on the book outlet and I missed out on it, but hopefully they'll come back with them again. But so that was a great little buy. And then I found the set of notebooks by Johanna Bassford, and uh, you get three of them. Land, Sea, and Sky, three collectible notebooks. They come nicely wrapped, you know, not wrapped, but you know, with a little string on them. And so the uh, covers are just beautiful. They have a nice metallic uh, finish on them. And one uh, has, well, let me just see, this one here has uh, grid paper and there's images throughout that you can color. And then this one here has a uh, uh, dot grid paper, I guess you would call it. And the paper, sorry, the paper is really nice as well. And you also have some images in here. And then this one is so beautiful with the um, uh, uh, jellyfish and the seahorses. And then this is lined paper. And now I'm thinking I should have bought a few more sets of these uh, to keep and you know to keep in my gift closet and give them away and you never know when you need an extra gift because who doesn't like notebooks I mean I've never met a person who doesn't very useful gift uh, I, I uh, was finally able to get my hands on dreamland I've seen this book on a few different channels and I've had this in my I guess wish list is that what you call it on the book outlet for a long time and whenever I make an order, it disappears. It sells out really fast, I guess. 
but I'm glad I finally got my hands on a, a copy and the, you know, the illustrations are beautiful. There's lots of flip throughs on here that you can search for and the paper is so nice. So uh, is it a, I think it's a get creative book. Yeah, so it's a get creative book and uh, I have a few of their books and uh, they are great because um, they're single sided and like I said, the paper is really nice. So I got that. I'm running out of room here. Let me just see if I can move that aside. I found Magical Earth and I was so happy because it's a newer title. So I wasn't expecting it to be on the book outlet, but that's great. It was nice to see. And there was another uh, title too, and I can't remember, it was a newer title, uh, mythographic book, but I decided to get uh, Magical Earth. And of course it's by Joseph Kadambang and the images are just breathtaking. You know, it, I love my mythographic books. I just, I can't, um, it's really, they're really hard to pass up. And when they are discounted, they're even more hard to, to pass up because they're such a great deal. I mean, they're worth the full price, you know, but um, when you get discounts, you know, who doesn't like a discount? Uh, I found also Johanna Basford's Rooms of Wonder on the book outlet. I was really happy to find this because I do collect her books and you know, I've never run across a Johanna book that I am not um, tempted to color in. There's always images in her books that I want to color in. And uh, this book is uh, also another fantastic book by her. I love the white paper. I know some people could prefer the cream paper, uh, colored paper, but I like bright white. And uh, the images are just beautiful and nice thick. Uh, you know, nice thick paper. You could definitely use, um, I don't know if, I will, you could use water-based markers like Tombow's I, I would think would be okay. Uh, you know, definitely maybe a little light watercolor, you know, so yeah. So I'm excited to have this in my collection. Um, and okay, so I think that's it for the book outlet. Um, oh no, I did buy one more, this one too. Fairies in Dreamland. This was like a, this was a really good price, guys. So I had to get it. Um, really cute. There's so many flips on on here with this one here. Um, you, you can't really go wrong with. I have the Mermaids in Paradise too. Is it called Mermaids in Paradise? Yeah, I have Mermaids in Paradise by Denise Collette. And I love this because you know you can experiment with your backgrounds. There's there's a lot of open space. And um, you know, you really, uh, you know, you can't go wrong with these books. The paper is so nice. Uh, who makes this one? Oh, Zen Doodle. Okay, Zen Doodle. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, so St. Martin's Griffin. Okay. Uh, yeah, nice, nice uh, paper and lovely illustration. So I'm happy to have this one in my collection. And let me just put this back because I'm running out of room. All right, next I have two books from HomeSense. I found this one for $5.99. And uh, this is Fairies in Wonderland. I have seen this book on a few different uh, channels and I believe there's a few flip throughs of this book. And I, I love it, I'm glad I found it. Um, there's beautiful illustrations in here. I love that some of the pages have, um, you know, a black background, which is sort of unique. And yeah, you can't go wrong for that price. So I got that one. And then I also found Keep Calm and Color On for $4.99. And um, yeah, this is uh, a Castle Point book. And I, I'm going to take this on vacation with me whenever we go. I don't know when we're going to go, but we better go soon. Uh, anyway, I um, yeah, I'm going to take this on vacation because I feel like there's a lot of variety here to color. And, you know, instead of bringing a bunch of different books, I can just bring this one and maybe a, well, the next ones that I show you um, with me. Because, oh, I like that because you have some, you have different images. You have houses to color, um, birds, cupcakes, a lot of zen doodly uh, uh, images in here. But uh, yeah, there's lots of variety. So I'm happy with that one. And so that's it for Home Sense. And then I did order some books off of Amazon. So let me just move this out of the way. I have some uh, Creative Haven books. I love Creative Haven. Who doesn't love a good Creative Haven book? Um, you know, they're great. I love them. So 
Um, I bought this one for Mermaid and I got the wrong book. It's a beautiful book, but it's not the one that I wanted. So I'm gonna give this one to my mom because I don't need a bunch of mermaid books, um, you know. Um, but I'll, cause I'll get bored of coloring the same thing over and over, you know, but anyway, uh, this one is really nice, but my mom will enjoy this a lot more than me. Um, cause I wanted the, uh, Marjorie, Marjorie Sarnet one. So let me just explain. So I bought this one first, uh, Magical Fairies and, uh, like this was priced so reasonably. They had this one for, you know, a really good price. I couldn't, uh, pass it up. And, uh. I was telling my neighbor about this because she likes to color too and uh, she actually has a few of uh, Marjorie's books and she was telling me that uh, Mar there's actually a Creative Haven, or the Whimsical Wonders. So in this book here, you have three of Marjorie's books in one book. So now I have the fairy book, her magical fairy book, so this one here, the mermaid her mermaid book that I originally wanted, and also I think it's called Fanciful Sea Life. That's in this book as well. So three for a really good price, and it's they're all together in one book. This is gonna be great to travel with as well. And I'm gonna be giving these two to my mom, and she can uh, enjoy those. Uh, so that's it for books for now. Hopefully for a while, I don't need any more books. I know I keep on saying this, but you know. I'm running out of room on my shelf. <laughs> All right, so I um, picked up two watercolor sets. Now, these are the Mungio pastel sets of watercolors, and then I also got uh, just a regular set here. Now, I know I wanted a pastel set. I know you can mix your own pastel colors, but to be honest, when I have time to, to craft at night, I, the last thing I want to do is to start mixing colors. <laughs> I can't be I can't be bothered. Uh, so, you know, I like having, you know, my colors pre-mixed and um, this is quite nice to get. And this is great for travel too, a cute little pan set. I haven't tried them out yet, but there are swatches on YouTube. I have seen them. So just, you know, put the this into the search and you'll find them. And, uh, you know, and I can show some swatches maybe in an upcoming uh, crafty update video. I don't think I'll be filming one soon because I haven't really be, uh, been crafting. But yeah, so I was happy to get those. Oh, and I found those on Amazon. And then I also picked up uh, this set here. So my local, uh, uh, sorry, um, art supply store has a bigger set of these. I was debating if I should get them or not, but I decided to get the smaller sets because I already have the pastel. So now I have this set as well. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to start with those, or uh, to start using those. I do already have like a travel set of Windsor & Newton. I like these a lot too, and I save these just to travel with, but oops. But um, I wanna try something different, so I got those. And um, yeah, I also, I have a lot of little watercolor sets. I have this one from, I'm sure a lot of people have this, a pretty excellent set. Anyway, I've used this a lot. I like those too, but. Anyway, and I, I recently swatched, well not recently, probably last year, I swatched um, the Kaiser Art set. So I have a few sets. I mean, I love watercolors. Who doesn't love a good watercolor set? Uh, okay, so I think I have just one more thing to share. I'm looking around to see, I, oh, okay, yeah. Uh, so I also found these pencils at home since. So they've been uh, getting a lot of Arteza items in and um, you know, they were a good price. I already have their pastel set, the 50 set. Now these are the classic colors, the classic, sorry, the classic ones. I don't know how many different ranges that Arteza has, but I do have, let me show you. Um, I do have this range here. So I got these a while ago. Uh, they came in um, uh, like a, a tube, I guess, a cardboard tube, you know, package and they say premium. Now, these are a lot smoother, I would say, a little bit more creamier than their um, classic range. The classic range is a little bit of a harder lead, uh, but um, these are nice. These are nice. Uh, I, they're not, I wouldn't say they're, you know, metallic. I mean, you know, well, I guess they have a nice shimmer to them. Let me 
show you the swatches that I made. So when I was at HomeSense, I did Google these and I did see reviews where people said they're a little bit more of a muted, uh, you know, uh, pencil. And that's what I sort of wanted, some muted, a set of muted colors because um, I have a lot of brights and in my coloring style, I usually gravitate towards brights and pastels. And it, I find it hard sometimes to use a more muted uh, color palette. So this is kind of nice that they're all together. And uh, so these are the swatches here. And, um, you know, they're quite nice. There's a nice uh, range of colors. Lots of green, blues, and lots of purples, which I really like. And like I said, I'm not sure if the sheen is sort of uh, showing on camera. They have a little bit of um, you know sparkle to them. Uh, can you see? I don't even know if you can see or not. Sorry, I can hardly even see my phone. Okay, you're probably not going to be able to see it. I'm only using a cell phone to film, so <laughs> I don't expect much. But uh, yeah, I mean, they're great. I mean, you know, for the price, I like Arteza pencils a lot, but I do prefer uh, their premium brand, uh, not brand, their premium uh, line, sorry, a little better. Uh, but, you know. It's nice to have this set in my collection. Uh, so I believe that is it. Oh, let me just talk a little bit about this. So, okay, I'm not sure if we, anyone else has this problem, but my thumb has started to hurt me. Um, the other day I was coloring a lot and my thumb, I, th I guess it's a callus, it's the hand that I use to, to color, uh, started hurting. So I'm thinking, okay, so what do colorists do? What do we do? Do we buy thimbles? Is that what we have to do to protect our thumbs? Is that what people do? Let me know in the comments down below. I don't know. I do have these little like uh, pencil padded thingies that you use to protect your fingers or whatever, but what a pain, like having to remove these and put them on pencils every time you want to color. I mean, I'm constantly using like different colors, so that's kind of a pain and they're not really easy to slide on and off. So if you have an idea of what I can do, uh, like is there a, a proper thimble for coloring? Let me know. Let me know. There's there's a lot of different versions on Amazon and some people say that you know you need to measure your finger and everything because I don't want to buy a pack and they're too big, too small. I mean, let me know what you what you would recommend. <sighs> anyway, that is uh, that's it I think for my video. I'm trying to look around to see if I forgot something and I don't think I did. Uh, so that is it and I probably I'm at 39 minutes so I'm gonna have to edit this down so I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and uh, enjoy your coloring and I will hopefully uh, have my uh, May finished pages up probably not anytime soon though because um, uh, you know it's I got no time to film <laughs> so I don't know what I'm gonna do and I'm still trying to finish off like one or two pages so thanks everyone hope you have a great day or a great night and uh, we'll talk to you soon bye for now